let me tell you again i will repeat here that how the life cycle asexual life cycle of plasmodium occurs very first this infected female anopheles mosquito suck the blood of the human healthy person then the uh, thousands of sporozoites they enter in the liver sporozoite is the infected stage of the plasmodium they enter in the liver then by having the two types of life cycle here pre erythrocytic and exo erythrocytic life cycle then the uh, thousands of the plasmodium parasite again they enter in the rbc now the another life cycle appears which is known as blood schizogony uh, or the erythrocytic uh, schizogony of this parasite and the, they recycle with each other and in this way the liver get damaged and the rbcs they are destroyed by attacking the plasmodium parasite here and again the new form of the parasite they are form here which is called as microgametocyte and the megagametocyte and thus this is now the parasite coming to the end of the asexual life cycle now what happen after completing the asexual life cycle here sexual life cycle begins and here mentioned that the asexual life cycle begins in the mosquito which is called as the female anopheles mosquito because here the sexual life cycle is not occurring in the man of that person what happen uh, in this uh, sexual life cycle the three stages occur here now this uh, gametogony means the gamete cells the microgametocyte and the megagametocyte now they enter in the mosquito body and the sex cells are formed which is called as male and female gametes and this is called as here gametogony the another stage of this uh, sexual life cycle is the syngamy after uh, formation of these male and female gametes the fusion of the male and female gamete takes place and uh, here zygote is formed known as the fusion of the sex cells in the syngamy and the third stage stage is uh, of the sporogony means from the single cell zygote the spore like many parasites they are form asexually here again uh, the spore formation is takes place and uh, thus the sporogony is uh, takes place in this mosquito now uh, let me tell you uh, how the sexual life cycle occurs by this diagram previously here the left side we have seen that how the asexual life cycle is completed in this man this is the structure of man c and the liver of this man the blood cells of the same person and uh, completion of the asexual life cycle of the plasmodium parasite is takes place here and this ends with the formation of gametocytes the uh, micro and mega gametocytes now what happen this is now the infected human being and the another female anopheles mosquito bites to this healthy person here for taking the blood of that man what happened along with the gametocyte all the stages they are absorbed they are taken up by the female anopheles mosquito and all the stages along with the gametocytes now they are coming up in the stomach of this mosquito this is the side of mosquito shown you that the stomach and the salivary gland after taking the gametocyte here the first step is formed which is called as gametogony so i already told you that what is the gametogony the formation of sex cells here the sperm and the ova they are formed by the micro and mega gametocyte now the fusion is takes place this is the second step known as syngamy this is the syngamy zygote is formed here due to the fusion of the sperm and the egg now after formation of the zygote 
the structure of this parasite is elongated and this is now called as ukinate stage it has its piercing apical shape and with the help of this shape this parasite zygote now it rests upon the basement membrane of the stomach wall what happened then the parasite zygote secretes oocyst around it it becomes again rounded in shape and a single nucleus of the zygote divides into many and each and many each and every nucleus piece is surrounded by the cytoplasm of this parasite and the oocyst size is thus increases and pressure exerted inside the oocyst and now thousands of the parasite they are liberated in the body cavity of the mosquito and this microscopic parasite now known as porozoites from the body cavity of the mosquito all these parasites now they enter in the salivary gland of the same mosquito they enter and rest here in the salivary gland of the mosquito for infection to the another healthy human being and now this mosquito is called as infected mosquito it is ready for transcription transmission of the malarial parasite from one person to the another person what happen when this infected anopheles mosquito bites for sucking the blood of that fresh human being along uh, with the anticoagulation saliva here these microscopic parasites now they are called the sporozoites they enter in the human being and this is transmission of the malarial parasite from one person to the another by the vector known as female anopheles mosquito and thus both of the life cycle uh, sexual life cycle as well as the asexual life cycle is now completed of this plasmodium parasite now i will tell you uh, here again by this uh, diagram uh, it is very clear that the uh, life cycle how occurs in the this is the man side this is again the man side the transmission is takes place from the salivary gland these are the liver cell uh, the two lines of the liver cells shown here for the pre erythrocytic schizogony and the erythros uh, post erythrocytic Uh, sorry it is called the exorythrocytic schizogony here uh, then the blood um, schizogony uh, occurs in the second asexual life cycle stage the gametes they are formed here in the same human being the female and the male gametocytes they are now yet present in the man side of the asexual life cycle of plasmodium parasite and by taking the uh, blood from this uh, infected human being by the uh, this mosquito the uh, cells the gametocytes they are uh, here in the lumen of the stump the mosquito and uh, again the sexual life cycle uh, begins these are the uh, cyst and uh, increasing of the cyst the pressure increases again and uh, uh, liberated many sporozoites in the salivary gland they uh, are now ready for the infection again here let us see what are the the same thing uh, characteristics of the life cycle the characteristics of life cycle of plasmodium parasite is uh, that they have the two host one is called the human host and another one is the mosquito host and they are, so they are called the digenetic the infective stage of this 
plasmodium parasite is the sporozoite and uh, the uh, infection is takes place by the biting of the mosquito to the skin of the human being for sucking the blood the parasitic position is liver and the red blood cell because liver cell and the red blood cell they get damaged by this plasmodium parasite and now thus uh, the digestion is again weakened uh, in that um, infected person because liver cell get damaged and rbcs also get uh, destroyed and the patient becomes anemic of course the transmitted stage from one person to the another person is the gametocyte that is the micro gametocyte and the mega gametocyte and the schizo gonic or the blood uh, blood cycle of the plasmodium parasite it takes 48 hours or uh, it uh, deflects from species to uh, species and uh, the very specific characteristics of the plasmodium parasite is the malarial fever it causes the malarial fever to the human being for uh, having the hemozoin poison which is uh, formed by the hematin pigment thank you